Welcome everybody to <laughs> following Lucha Podcast with Steven and JC. Whoa. This is a podcast up? where we talk about the show Lucha Underground. And then we talk about wrestling. I'm your host, Steven. This is JC. What's up, man? Steven, my favorite part, we've been doing this podcast for a lot of weeks now. It's been over 50, right? My favorite yeah. part is now now that we don't do the wow at the beginning of the episode, on the episodes where you're the one doing the, the, the guiding and the hosting, you count yeah, yeah, down yeah. from five for yourself to start the episode. I know. Like, it's great. Well, it's, it's got to get everyone prepared, you know? B- I guess you gotta yeah. you gotta sync up the audio somehow. That's not how I do it. I just you gotta sync up the audio somehow, man. You gotta. Sync I up look for five. the loudest part of the video and then I sync it from there. But Steven, wow. it's I fine. think you can do it automatically though, right? On like what's it Ooh. called? On Adobe, is that a thing? I don't know. You can just match audio. I have Adobe. I'll try that out if I can find it. But Steven, wow. listen. We are the lore keepers of Lucha Underground. We get on here, we talk about an episode of Lucha Underground from years ago. We talk about what else happened in wrestling when that episode aired. And then we talk about the modern day of pro wrestling. And it's an eventful, eventful weekend at the time oh of this recording. goodness. It's the weekend. A year ago today, we were sitting waiting for a pizza, I think, um, in Dallas, mm-hmm. Texas. Before going it never to, came to us. It never came. Before going to WrestleMania night one uh, for, what was that, 38? WrestleMania 38? I think it was 38. I think what mm. happened was we went to a pizza place in Dallas, Texas, right? We did. And we waited an hour because our pizza never came because they forgot mm-hmm. we were there. But our friend who was with us, his pizza came like immediately. So poor guy was just sitting there for an hour for no reason. I, I think what happened was like they were calling somebody for the pizza. Like, hey guys, whose pizza is this? Um, But they didn't like do it long enough. So they just kind of gave oh. up. What like, if someone two seconds stole in. our pizza? What if someone else took it? I always wonder if that happens if people like stealing food that way. Just like, listen, hey. it has to happen. Because I now live right. in an apartment complex where if you have a package left outside your door, it will be stolen. Okay? Was that just like a loot box? Is it a mystery? I mean, yeah, essentially. And so far, the thieves, you know what they've gotten from me, Steven? What have they gotten? They've gotten a pair of scissors. Wow. They've gotten an Amazon's Essentials, or sorry, an Amazon Essentials can opener. And wow. also... What if it was um, like a dildo? You know, like, what, how would they feel about that? No, I've not. My dildo arrived safely into my apartment, okay? Thank goodness. So don't Just even have worry a box about it. that says, not a dildo on it, and they won't <laughs> steal it. You know? <laughs> You're so right. You're absolutely right. Well, Steven. Or baddragon.com. Have that on your box. Why? What is that? I don't get that reference. Good. No, what is, what is it? Good. What do they sell? No. What do they sell? No. Hmm. Okay. Well, they sell um, they sell dildos, right? Oh. But okay. they're shaped like same. animals. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if people actually buy them, <laughs> so, do like, they have every... a unicorn? They have a unicorn. They have like a dragon. I don't know what else they have. It's like mythical creatures, right? You could just probably have sex a giraffe. With. Oh, that's not mythical, I guess. Right. Um, I mean, they're kind of mythical. They're kind of like, how do they exist? You know, like how do they function? Yeah, yeah. Um hopefully a long um, neck dinosaur you could have little foot inside you that'd be fun mm-hmm. you know it'd be, be very fun that'd be so, sick yeah check mm-hmm. out that website our first official sponsor here at following lucha steven mm-hmm. we i think that dragon actually does sponsor people like unironically <laughs> well like, i think that's an actual thing they do that's so exciting that's so exciting great or er, steven uh, the little yes. girl that we're watching, because right now NXT Stand and Deliver is happening at the time of this recording, because it's Saturday mm-hmm. WrestleMania weekend, and and it just started, and a little girl is getting beat up by James Drake. So this is oh, huge. This is hot. Oh my god, Joe Gacy's crazy. What the heck? A little crazy. But Steven, let's focus on the more important wrestling, the real wrestling that aired yeah. on March 9th of 2016. That is season two, episode seven of Lucha Underground, and finally. The creators of this show have decided to put a little bit more creative energy into the titles of the episodes. um, Mm -hmm. Because we're fresh off of The Machine, uh, Gift of the Gods ladder match, and something like Triple Threat. Okay? This episode is called Death Comes in Threes. Very good. Wow. 
Very good. Very That's clever. Good That's mm-hmm. like title of like some Netflix show. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense because spoilers, guys. Mil Muertes fights Prince Puma and Pentagon this episode. But Mil Muertes is theoretically the one who represents death. And he only kills two people. Like, there is, like death does not come in threes because who else died? Well, he's already dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. He's like a negative Fair number. Enough. I guess, I guess. Well, Steven, the episode opens up with the recap. As always, we get a reminder that Sexy Star is a trauma victim who escaped the grasp, the the captivity of Marty the Moth Martinez, and then was re-traumatized last week when he appeared in the, the crowd during one of her matches. We also get a reminder that Taya has debuted in, in Lucha Underground, helping Johnny Mundo get a win over Brian Cage. Weirdly enough, Steven, Taya just debuted in AEW a couple of weeks ago. It actually? <gasps> That's crazy. She did. She did. Um, also, she still there? Yeah, I think she's on Dark or some shit, but still. That's something. No. I think she fought Jade Cargill when they were in Canada, actually, because she's Canadian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she lost. Probably. But Jack Evans, by the way, in this recap, he, he shows up and he keeps on fucking on Drago. Okay, he keeps annoying Drago. This man doesn't need any more stressors in his life. He's already homeless, lives in a bathroom. Okay, just leave him alone. You think he gets, like, race racially profiled for being a dragon person? Um, maybe not for being a dragon person, but maybe for his clearly Hispanic heritage under the mask. You know? Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. Every masked luchador. Most yeah, message. Yeah, yeah. Not well, every. I guess it's clearly Hispanic when he's not wearing the actual black face that he does sometimes. So, mm. yeah, you have to be careful. Just uh, like then, Finn Balor. Just, just, just like Finn. I can't I wait. It's like a thing. For where like that. he's like, oh yes, I want to make my my face all black. And then <laughs> some guy backstage like, no Finn, you can't do that. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's so stupid. I wish we had a soundboard. So a year from now, I can just play you saying with an Irish accent. <laughs> I want to see my face all black. What the fuck good was that, Finn. Steven? Yeah, good, good for, for Finn. Finn. I, literally... I saw like a... Mm-hmm. You know the Seamus workout channel? Yeah, that's where yeah. he fell off a bicycle with Edge, I think. What? <laughs> Either he oh, or Edge crazy. fell off a bicycle on that YouTube channel. Yeah. And they I was watching it and up. like... Other than that, Dominic is like a cardio like beast. That kid has like so much energy; it's crazy. Oh, he's got to build up that stamina. Okay, he's with like, Rhea legit, That's all he does is just cardio. All he Hell does yeah. is just cardio. And that guy's crazy. No, good for he's him. He's a beast, man. A he's beast a limber a boy. He's a limber boy. So shout we out to like Dom. We also liked him before it was cool, you know. Listen, I'm just saying. I own the first ever Dominic Mysterio action figure. Okay, not many people mm-hmm. can say that. I'm sure some. You own the but child not many. one. No, but that wasn't his first, to be clear. Would you get it, though? On, is it on eBay? The little child dominant? Ooh, I would so get that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, to have a I'm pretty sure it's on collection. eBay, right? It's got to be. Maybe. Probably expensive. Yeah. You know, you might as well just buy the full pack. Um, mm. Steven, the last... We're still on the recap. The last part of the recap is that Katrina and Pentagon Jr. got into a, a scuffle a couple weeks ago, okay? Okay. And it ended with Pentagon Jr. getting a match against Prince Puma... Mil Mortes interfered, broke it up, ruined it for both men, and now all three of them are fighting in the main event for the Lucha Underground title. Mil Mortis' first defense in forever, you know? So, that's I think the it recap. is his first defense, right? Ah, potentially. Or... I think he defended it against Evil East, though. Didn't he? Does that count? That's like a squash. Well, I mean, that's not very fair to Evil East to ask, does okay. that count? Sorry, Evil East. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Her new tramp stamp that she has. I'm sorry. Some respect on her name. Like, I love her tramp yeah. stamp. I think it's beautiful. Steven, you know who else I think is beautiful? Who? The Mac. The Mac walks into the oh. locker room and Sexy Star is there. Okay? Sexy Star is looking all sad in her locker. And the Mac says, Sexy, I have a match tonight with Marty the Moth Martinez. Will you be in my corner? And Sexy looks at him. She's silent. She's like, she shakes fuck? her head no. no. She, she shakes he just... her head no just abused me and tortured me for like months what the mm-hmm. fuck man mm-hmm. and you you wouldn't have heard said. those those words come out of her mouth but you could see them written all over her eyes okay like her eyes express Mac that is, pain is um fucking stupid and does not understand um hey maybe i shouldn't ask a person who was tortured by a man to come watch him 
Well, like, get put person. in harm's way, even. The Lucha Underground yeah. Temple is not, like, the safe space, you know? So, yeah, it's a little weird of the Mac to ask. But then Mac is like, Sexy, I know you just shook your head no, but I'm not taking no for an answer. And then he gives her a pep talk and is like, You should come. And then Sexy Stars shakes her head yes, meaning she will be in Mac's corner. So, I'm glad we have another mute hero in the Lucha Underground mm -hmm. Temple. I'm glad that Everybody is how... Everybody that can't speak English, uh -huh. just make them nod and say yes. Well, also Trevor for some reason. Uh, oh. But with Sexy, I'm glad that they've chosen to have her trauma manifest in this way, where she used to be able to talk, but not anymore. So <laughs> She's so traumatized. She is. She is. Or and then sexy. That, match, that match starts, Steven. It's Marty the Moth versus the Mac. And when Marty comes out, he's all over Melissa Santos, the ring announcer. So the crowd starts chanting, no means no. Do you agree? <laughs> the fuck is this? Is, that's so messed up. That's, that's a crazy. little messed up. It's a little messed up. But thankfully, the Mac is there to save the day. When his music plays, he runs to the mm -hmm. ring, barely even waiting for the bell to ring before he starts his all-out assault on Marty the Moth. The two big boys, they're going at it, slapping meat, jumping high in the air. How did you feel about the match, Steven? Wow. I know. I was also left speechless. That was uh, so crazy. Was sexy star as she has actual shell shock and PTSD as she watches from the outside. <laughs> she so. sees this guy that, you know, like tortured her for months. Mm -hmm. Who knew what happened, you know? Who knew? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, at one point, the Mac climbs to the top rope to perform some aerial offense on Marty the Moth. And Steven, mm -hmm. chat GPT got involved, okay? I think they are the booker. The lights yeah. go out, okay? <gasps> The lights go out. Bray Wyatt has appeared. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, yeah. <laughs> so the lights go out. Some creepy ass like Jack in the Box music starts playing. And then coming out from the entranceway, it is some some girl in brown in a leather face in mask. In a mask. And ponytails. It was pretty sick. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what happens? She what happens? distracts... Uh, the Mac, and that lets Marty hit a curb stomp on him, which is that a finisher? No, it's crazy. Maybe, oh. maybe Marty is a big fan of of pulling out trauma from people, like with Sexy Star, uh -huh. as he has her on the outside, all shocked. Uh, remember, the Mac had his head curb stomped through a cinder block at Ultima Lucha by Brian Cage, so you know, maybe just I trying see. to bring those memories back to the fore. Traumatize him more. Storyline, mm -hmm. long term mm -hmm. booking. I think so. I think so. Psychology of the, the match. Keepers. We're the Lord Dude, This keepers. guy in the NXT crowd has a Family Guy shirt on. Okay, you mean of the actual NXT show that's happening right now? Yeah. I have it's an like official one... statement. Because uh, right now I'm watching Pete Rosenberg on my TV screen. Look, and I am look in the pissed back. off. Like, the, it's guy not Sam has like, the guy has like a f the, the Peter in the chicken shirt. What? Like, when Peter fights the chicken, he's wearing that as a shirt. That's crazy. There's no. Is that Denise Salcedo? Yes. Wait, let me turn on the volume so I can hear her voice. It's so loud. That's, that's her! Myself. That's Denise Salcedo. Oh you won sound by That's her. I that's mean, her. It's unmistakable how ear-piercing her voice is. I love her. What? I don't love her, but I like her. But her, her voice is terrible. Steve. There's that one girl, Alyssa. I don't know. That's that's just another topic for another day. Okay, because, sure. Because Lucha Underground cuts to a promo segment. No, it's not. We Steven... But we don't even have a winner of the match. We <laughs> haven't revealed the who, the, who the girl in brown is, okay? Listen, Marty the Moth curb stomps the Mac. Then he wins. Okay, he gets the pin. One, two, three. Marty's mm -hmm. the winner. Um, and then Marty gets on the microphone and he says, The girl in brown is my sister. She's Mariposa. And, and the Steven, crowd goes mild. Yeah, they didn't react too much. Steven, we are the lore keepers here. So I have an important question to ask you. What is yes. the symbolism or what is the meaning behind the name Mariposa? Monty Python. That's, that's not it. That's not it, Stephen. Stephen, Stephen, did you ever take what Spanish in middle school or high school? No, I took Latin because I'm cool. Okay but, okay, but you've lived in San Antonio. You know, about half the population mm -hmm. speaks Spanish. Okay, you've been around it. You've had I'm pretty schools. sure half the population in the U.S. speaks Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sure, over 50% like eventually, of San Antonio right? then. Like, like eventually, just take over, like, Spanish speakers. 
something like that. Probably not. But Steven. No, no, like apparently, like, like apparently, like legit, like more than fifty percent of the U.S. will be Hispanic in a, like a few decades. Okay, like, that's so like there's a, a really big difference between being Hispanic and speaking Spanish. Okay, he Sammy Spanish. Guevara is the ideal example of that. Okay. Can he speak Spanish? No. Oh. He can't. Why is he a Spanish sex god? That makes no well, sense. He's this gimmick sex makes god. no sense. Okay. He's. Wait, I think they're the lay sex gods together. He's just the the Spanish. Does he god. have sex um, on camera? Well, oh, on camera. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Maybe. Um, Steven. what a weird gimmick to have is I have sex. That's like uh, the most that's a Reddit good gimmick, gimmick ever. Gimmick. That's a great gimmick. Okay, not enough yeah, people appreciate I have sex. the gimmick. Yeah, that was Mariposa gimmick. That was means awesome. butterfly in Spanish, Steven. Oh my gosh. I know. I know. So, Mariposa is revealed to be Marty's sister, and then she kicks Sexy Star in the face and ribs and, like, lifts her up and kicks her. It's wild. Mm -hmm. Now, we cut to the vignette. Describe the vignette. Oh, my God. It was Phoenix. Like, yo, this is my origins. I'm Phoenix. I mean, I guess it was his origins, but he basically just said, like, yo, I'm Phoenix. When I was a kid, I was poor. And people excluded me from things. <laughs> Just like every wrestler ever. When I was <laughs> yeah. younger, I was poor. But now this, I'm wrestling. This is why I love um, Prince Puma. He never poor. was like, oh, I'm poor. No, Prince Puma said, fuck the poor. I beat them <laughs> fuck off. Fuck the poor. Mm -hmm. and in LA, mm -hmm. too? That's like half the population, you know? Yeah. That guy's yeah. crazy. He's beating mm -hmm. up homeless people outside the streets. Oh, yeah, he is. Hell, yeah, he is. And so Phoenix is like, because no one liked me when I was little. I turned. <gasps> Steven, Steven, Steven. The the sexy yes. boys are on NXT right now. Pretty deadly. Really? Yeah. I had the intro for the pay per view. Oh man, no. Pretty deadly's going wild right now. Pretty okay, deadly's Steven. awesome. I hope they get really. I hope. I think they're gonna get really good main roster run. You know. I hope. Or they so. just get lost in the shuffle two months from now. How dare you? Um, I hope they join the maximum male models. Steven. Steven. Listen. I don't know. Listen, Phoenix is like. You get less must say. Phoenix is like, no one liked me, so I turned and I put all my energy into the world of fantasy. And he's like, that's how I <laughs> I got died. really into Lord of the Rings, you know? Yeah. That's what and Phoenix he, said. He did. And he says that's why he is now called the Phoenix, because he loves fantasies. And some people still don't believe in him, even though he's done so well and become champion. But he's going to prove all those haters wrong by becoming haters. the Lucha Underground champion. And then he just talks about fantasies some more. It was a weird vignette. It made me respect Ray Phoenix a lot less than I did before. But wow. it's okay. How did you feel about it? Man. When I was a rest when I was younger, I was also homeless and poor. Um, but then I got into wrestling. Mm -hmm. And I was still homeless and poor mm -hmm. because they don't really pay that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. at least you were fed, you know? Hot dog? Yeah, and that would be it. Many hot dogs. Many, many hot dogs. I mean, you can't really eat the handshakes. Like, that's, that's a little less. A lot of carbs, you know. Also, I mean, you post -COVID protein. world. Yeah. You could just I mean, take the hot, hot dog out the bun. You could ask them when the when the promoter tries to hand you the hot Replace dogs. You're like, can the I get with another two... hot dog? <laughs> yeah. Can I get two sausages, please? And then. Dang. I, I think no, you got to work, work double time for that, dude. You got to work two oh, shows for that. Fuck. Damn it. I guess so. I guess so. Steven, we go from that yes. to another backstage segment. This time, it is Drago coming out of the restroom into the locker room, and he accosts Jack Evans. Drago is pissed that Jack has been calling himself the Dragon Slayer. And then Jack has a really valid defense. Jack Evans says, Drago, it's not me. It was the people that named me. It was the people. <laughs> Drago, it's not real, you fucking mark. That's what he said. Drago's You're not like, a oh. dragon, man. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Damn. Yeah, and he just kind of like but walks But that didn't sadly. happen because then PJ Black comes out and starts whacking on Dragon. He really... PJ Black is, is apparently in cahoots with Jack Evans and has nunchucks. And even with nunchucks, like, he still... Ha it's, it's a pretty even fight between a non-nunchuck Drago <laughs> and nunchucks PJ Black. It was two guys with weapons. <laughs> and and Drago was still even. holding up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But but then, just as Drag was on the ground, well, I guess he wasn't. He was kind of more crouching, right? He was getting fucked on. Like that's yeah. fair to say. Yeah. Um, lights appeared 
but not like Bray Wyatt blackout lights, just lights like um, Christmas time when you go outside. Mm -hmm. And can you guess what accompanied that 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 and, Christmas lights? And and out came out Airless Star. <laughs> And the craziest oh thing ever. God. It was like, you know in Power Rangers when they transform it cuts to like a cutscene of them like like just posing and dancing? Yeah. Right? yeah. It was basically that. Of Aerostar just like doing karate poses and dancing. It was also it was playing sick. like with the music in Pokemon when you capture a like when you capture a new Pokemon. It was playing that right. in the background as they show Aerostar. <laughs> like I guess he has like Drago sense. Whenever Drago is in danger, I guess Aerostar feels it somewhere in his body, and then he teleports mm -hmm. to the scene of the crime. Well, um, he time travels back, right? I assume. Oh, is he time traveling? And then PJ Black, right, and and Evans, right? They're like, what the fuck? No, fuck this shit. So they just leave. Well, yeah, Aerostar is just teleported into the locker room. Okay, I'd yeah. also be like, what the fuck? And so I just yeah, they just booked it. And then, then Aerostar helps Drago up, which, good for them, okay? They they fought so much last season, I'm glad to see they're getting along, Steven, you know? Well, that was the end of that segment. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Great for Drago. <laughs> awesome. Next up, Steven, we get to one of our two main events tonight. This is a no disqualification match between Brian Cage and Johnny Mundo. However, what? before Johnny Mundo can come out to the ring... His girlfriend, Taya, does instead. This is the woman who debuted a couple weeks ago. Causing Cage here. to lose. Looks crazy. She looks great. Yeah, she gets on the microphone and she says, Cage, you're not fighting Johnny tonight. You're fighting me. If you have the balls. And then... <gasps> Cage I don't like, have balls. I was built by man. That's true. I think they get very shriveled up also when you're on so many steroids. Um... I think they retract at that point, Steven, um, inside your body. That. What? That's Brian Cage will listen and he'll get offended. I mean, I apologize. That's gotta be like a gimmick somewhere, right? Where someone's like, John Cena, your balls don't exist because they shriveled up from testosterone. And then John Cena's like, oh man. This is really almost what happened with The Miz a year ago. How don't you remember this? Was he on roids? Well, probably not. He's a little pudgy. Are fans wrestling? I thought she was injured. What the fuck? I don't know, man. Is that a storyline? Why did they make a storyline when she got a heart attack? That was so weird. A heart? She has myopericarditis as well? Like, like, did you see that storyline where she, after she wrestled, she just collapsed? And no. then Dave Meltzer was like, she either might be injured for real or, or it's a story. You know, I had to keep or it informed. Story. Or story. Give it's me eleven ninety nine a month for WON. Dave keeps it open. Dave, Dave, Dave hits us with the truth, Steven, okay? Matt Stryker mm. also hit us with the truth here um, after Taya challenged Cage to a match. Uh, as Matt Stryker says, Taya has a real chance against Cage. And again, Cage is this giant Wolverine steroided out man. Um, <laughs> Taya, Taya has a chance. Tiny. Taya has a chance Crazy. because she was trained by Lance Storm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, Remember Cage running has NXT? no problem beating women, awesome. by the way. You mean Frankie Monet? Oh, yeah. This I, I feel like this whole match was some, like, really frustrated guy sexually. Mm. Yeah, just fuck this, fuck this chick up. Okay? Okay, oh, yeah. Brian Cage. Live out my fantasies. Just beat the shit out of this woman. And uh, then Brian okay. Cage does. Yeah. yeah. The whole Brian match Cage... was just Brian Cage just shitting on women. It was great. He is no stranger to the intergender match, Steven. Okay, my favorite intergender match of all time was, was Brian Cage with your fellow student at UTSA, Tessa Blanchard. That match that was went crazy. Cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, shouts out to him. He beats up Taya real bad. Taya, though, is in the fight. She low blows Cage at a certain point. She kicks out of some of his big moves. Cage wow. suplexes her off the apron through a table. But at one point... Johnny Mundo shows up. Uh, and he... Oh my goodness gracious. That's crazy. Fucks up Cage. And after he fucks up Cage, he goes for a, like a stack fuck pin. Okay, it's him and Taya on top of Cage. They go for the cover. One, two... They, they don't win. Cage is still in the match. He kicks out. And um, oh, no. after that, Johnny is like, I we can't do this alone. So he goes under the ring to grab some weapons. Um... And out from the ring, Steven, he grabs um, some glass bottles, um, another cinder block, which again, and the more history, glass bottles, more glass bottles, and also this like 
these black balls that are connected by a rope. I still don't know what they so were. So a mace? No, because the ball wasn't spiky. It was like a, oh, a mace, lane mace. A double-sided mace, but with no spikes on it. So a nunchuck. No, 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 because they weren't like handles to grip. They were balls. Like, like <laughs> a gag. That's what it was. <laughs> really, it was. That was it crazy. Really was. Um, um, and yes, of course, a cinder block. Which again, why introduce using a cinder props, block? You know, they well, don't have enough props of the show. Cage is here. He's the man there who was a buy one head. get one free sale. Okay, I guess so. And they saved it for this very moment. Um, um, and so Cage is like, "Rar, I'm machine." And the Giant's like, "Fuck you!" Damn. Grabs the glass bottle. Just knocks him out with it. To be Cage's clear, like, yeah. Um, Cage didn't say raw in like a scary way. He did it in like <laughs> a 2011. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very awkward, um, girl kind of way. That's awesome. And you're right, um, Steven. Johnny attempts to knock out Cage with a glass bottle, and Cage remains unfazed by the glass. That's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Johnny Johnny's like, what the fuck? Uh -huh. So he does it again with another glass bottle. And it still doesn't work. Um, so what does he do next, Steven? He grabs another glass bottle. <laughs> I don't and think it still that does happened. not work. <laughs> I think he just ran away, leaving Taya in the path of destruction, uh, where she then gets fucked up with like the weapon X or something. On the pinned. glass too. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Poor the Taya. sugar glass. Oh no. Uh, one, two, three. Taya's been pinned. Brian Cage is the winner. Yes. Steven, what a great match. This episode has all been the build-up for this very next segment, okay? We arrive to the third ever Famous B advertisement, okay? Oh, yeah. These are the best. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a little sad by this advertisement from Famous B this week, as he does quietly announce his retirement. Um, at one point, no. he refers to himself as a retired fighter, uh, which makes me sad, you know? It makes me very Impressive. sad. Yeah. Um, he's wearing a wizard hat in this advertisement for some reason. And he introduces a homeless girl who is named Brenda. He says that Brenda has lost her job and now she's homeless. And she In LA? Is... That's crazy. Who would have thought? I know. Keep Prince Puma away What was she going to be girl. arrested? An <laughs> he actor? Is a monster. I mean, that's a great question. Not if she stays homeless and dirty like this. But thank goodness, famous be the wizard that he is. He pulls out a wand and he turns Brenda into a beautiful and rich woman. <gasps> that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And the IRS, the IRS comes in. They're like, what the fuck? Where did all this money come from? Well, that's, that's, we'll that's never know. not their never problem, know. okay? That's for, fam or for famous B and beautiful Brenda to know. Okay? Now famous B... Famous B is awesome. That's what I got from this segment. That's, <laughs> Dial that's all four, I got. four, two, three, get fame. Uh, Steven, I have great news. Beautiful yes. Brenda uh, actually made her TV debut in 2005 on the hit reality show Big Brother. Uh, wow. She was eliminated, I believe, third out of out of 12 people. So That's pretty good, that's right? a little tough. No, it's bad. She was like out oh. in the first couple weeks. Yeah. There's a famous scene of her like naked in a bathtub with a dude and she has her feet up on his chest and she's feeding him strawberries and she says, open up little bird. And it's ingrained in my memory. How does that like, was it like on the cams or? They showed it on the real show. I mean, there wasn't like real nudity. They were oh. covered in bubbles and such. And maybe they were wearing like bathing suits. I can't quite remember. Is it one of the things where like the producers are like, yo, I know I want you to shout. I want you to be in the bathtub with the other guy and feed him strawberries. Yeah, you have, you have to do it. You have to, you have to, you have to Steven, like, is that what happened? You bring I up assume? a great point because guess what? The creator what? of Lucha Underground is Chris Joseph, who is um one of the uh -huh. head producers of Big Brother. So this what? This this could have some legs. Our theory, okay? Isn't like the guy? Remember that guy from DX from 2006, the stripper guy? What? Isn't he part of like Lucha Underground? Oh, the, you mean the stripping Big Dick Johnson, big dude. Yeah, that's him. That's Chris Joseph. Okay, okay. That, that, that's, what that's an interesting career brother. that guy has. Yeah, every season of Big Brother, he dresses up like an alien or an old lady and goes huh. into the house for a day and harasses all Why the people. Why was he a stripper on WWE? Well, I think he was a writer, and they were like, Haha, you're fat. Let's oil you up. Um, which <laughs> what do you do I at get. that point? Are you like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fair. It's fair. The Whale so 2022. Steven, 
May I ask you, have you dialed 423 get fame yet? Nope. Well, makes sense. I didn't think you You know did. what you should dial? You know what you should dial right now? What? You should dial... Um... Um... Get, I'll get back with the joke. Oh. Oh, sorry, I'll get back to sorry, this sorry. joke later. Okay, 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 okay. You could just dox me right now. I would have laughed at that <laughs> if you'd committed my phone number to memory. <laughs> anyways. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Steve, guys. Steven. Um, After this, Cuck Angle convenes. Our former trios champions, Ivalice with a tramp stamp, Son of Havoc with his beard, and Helico with his swinging cock. All three of them are together. Katrina... Uh, office. They're outside of Katrina's office. Ivelisse has just exited. The other two guys were waiting on her. And they're like, Katrina, what's the news? And Katrina's like, I got us the match next week for the trio's titles. It's us versus Ow. the Dodd. And just asked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, simply ask. And they're it's like, crazy. oh, wow, is that easy? And she was like, well, actually, there's a catch. If we lose... And then I was watching the show so fast, I didn't catch what she said. But I assume oh, no. they're not allowed back in the temple. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, no. Um, is that Who what knows? happens? Who knows? Are, Maybe well, they have to break up. Maybe they have to die. Ooh, Who knows what, what could happen with them. So I, my thought was that they had to break up. But then when I rewound it and still couldn't understand, I was like, you know what? It sounds like they're leaving. They have to get fired if they lose. So that's what I'm going with. So that's awesome. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So there is a catch, but hopefully they're able to pull out a victory next week against. But then the Dodd. We cut mm -hmm. the match that we're all waiting <sighs> for. No. Right. Then the Puma comes this out. This is Rampage, baby. And then Pentagon comes out. And then Mill comes out. Mm -hmm. Then they start wrestling. Well, it's for the Lucha Underground title. It's a triple threat. Mil Muertes, Prince know. Puma, Pentagon Jr., the three biggest stars well, this, this match company set up. has created. I forgot this match was a thing, to be honest, this whole angle. It was only announced last week when Mil Muertes was like, I don't like you, Katrina. I'm Pasquale Mendoza. Was that his name? Or am I confusing I so. his last name with Raul's? And then, like, he was like, something. these two guys in a rivalry? I want to be in this storyline now. And then the girl's like, okay, dude, whatever. Yeah. Well, he's a big boy. He He's tough and he's strong and he wants to prove it, okay, in this match. Uh, Vampiro puts it as aptly as you can when these three men make it out to the ring. One has violence. One has hatred. The other guy looks like a puma. <laughs> it's yep. big fight feel after a comment like that, Vamp. Thank One's you. One's about the yin and yang in life, you know? About, like, like balancing yes, your, your the inner yin and yang. with... Hatred whatever. and violence. One, and men one's dressed about like pumas. Death. One's about Puma dude. Pretty yeah. cool. Uh, wouldn't two of them be about death? Because Pentagon dresses like a skeleton man every week. And well, Mil Puma has the skeletons in his closet. Mm. <laughs> um of murdering LA people and beating them up on the streets. <laughs> a really great point. Is Trevor he like Batman? Is, is he like a vigilante? So canceled. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen those videos online of like guys catching predators? Like in I stores? mean, yeah, but also like there's a much we... more famous actual television no, show. No, have you, about have you it? seen the one with like the Asian dude who's like trying to get like fiber pills? And the guy's oh, like, Oh, you showed it. You him made me street. watch it on Discord for like half an <laughs> that hour. Was what crazy. the fuck? You know it's There's I've like seen a it. scene. There's like a part where the guy was like, like some store worker's like, dude, get away from me, you fucking weirdo. And the guy's like, if I'm, if I'm a weirdo, why do I have pictures of his butthole? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? do you not get what you're saying, man? What the heck? That's hilarious. Oh my God. That's what, that's, that's how, that's how um, Puma would act if he could talk in this show. Is that the guy who like drives onto the median and like destroys all the No, no, that's the, the guy shrubs? filming, filming and harassing the pedo. Wait, the one who destroyed the greenery was was the the man filming? I thought it was the predator who like crashed. No, 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 the predator, the the pedo drives the car. The guy filming is like, "I'm not yeah, a weirdo. Yeah. I have pictures of his butthole." Yeah, I get that. I get that. I get that. <laughs> I guess in his head it was like this I don't know how he no, thought No, he was it owning head. that dude in his head, okay? He thought you this know. was locked, okay? He thought he thought he knew, but no, it's okay. And that guy did not get arrested for being a pedophile. But you did get arrested for um, vandalizing property. That makes sense. 
That makes sense. Was because the other man arrested for um, is <laughs> showing not, strangers not photos real. of assholes in grocery stores? Dude, imagine uh, being that one Walmart worker. It's like you're because like the guy, the, the one worker was like Asian, right? So he saw like some other Asian dude getting harassed. Like, oh, I gotta, I gotta stand for my homie. And then you just see his butthole, you know, like on someone else's phone. That's, I, don't, I wouldn't be ready for that, you know. No, just seeing I, someone's I was butthole. picturing it printed out on a piece of paper. The butthole. To be fair, I wasn't really. Uh, the phone. Is I printed out your option. butthole. All right. Well, I'm thinking. I always watch the Anxiety Weirdo. War videos. Have you watched Anxiety War? Um, no. The creepy white guy that does the predator catching, in like no. some like in Colorado. Oh, well, he always prints out the photos. So why? Well, because that he poor usually, like, hands he hands them to the predator and is like, "Do you recognize this? And, you recognize um, this, you son of a bitch!" But like, if he handed them his phone, they'd probably just like grab it or throw it. You know, so papers make more sense. It just does. It just does. Steven, it just our works main that event way. matchup. That's how mafia works. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Most of the matchup is Puma and Pentagon taking turns fighting Mil Muertes. They spend a lot mm -hmm. of time outside the ring and in the crowd. At one point, Puma does a shooting star off like the crowd banister. Yeah. Finally, like halfway through the match, Puma and Pentagon realize, like, oh, maybe we should work together. And they start beating <laughs> Shit, up. Shit, this guy is really strong. We should work together, man. Mm -hmm. Puma, man. Mm -hmm. So they start kicking him in the face, super kicks on Mil Muertes. Mil is able to really come back fast from it, though, because at one point, Pentagon is about to break Prince Puma's arm once and for all. No escape. No one will survive until Pasquale comes in with a spear, taking down Pentagon. And you think, wow. oh my gosh, he has some mercy. He loves P Prince Puma. But no, then he spears Prince Puma as well. And then you know what Mil Mortes mm. does, Steven? He does the Roman Reigns pin. No, he, he does a double flatliner first. And then he does <laughs> a stack fuck pin, okay? Wait, doesn't this, even, he doesn't even do the stack fuck pin. He just pins both of them Yeah, at the same like time. with his arms. At, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Which lot of makes cool. more sense canonically, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I think... As long right. as both shoulders are down, it's fine. Because, like, if it's, like, a stack pin, wouldn't the second guy be pinning the other guy first? You would think so. You would think so. Right. You know, like that Johnny Taya situation. Yeah. 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 Uh. So, either way, uh, the two biggest stars of the company have lost, Pentagon and Prince Puma. And now, mm -hmm. uh, a man who has had his stock dramatically drop after a vignette earlier in the night... It's Ray Phoenix. He's here. Wow. At the top of the stairs. And he starts speaking Spanish, and the crowd goes mild because they don't understand what he's saying. I but mean, it's probably something really cool. Listen, if half the country knows Spanish and over half of San Antonio knows Spanish, I'm betting 99.9% .9 of Boyle Heights knows Spanish. Okay, mm -hmm. Steven? That's just my personal, personal assumption. But then, um, mm -hmm. but then, that, that's the show. No, <laughs> that's no, that's the Phoenix, show right there. Phoenix says. I'm going to cash in my Gift of the Gods championship next week against you, Mil Muertes. I'm fighting you. I'm coming for your championship. Animo. And then the episode ends. Animo. Animo. He cuts the black. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And Hooray. then Marty posts a show. Oh, sorry. Um, That's the show. Hell yeah. Steven, what did you think about Death Comes in Threes? I came in threes. What's that mean? I don't know. You gotta, yeah, like, you gotta decipher it yourself. Three you know? short little bursts, or like... <laughs> like a rapid fire machine gun. No, know? not rapid fire. It's like a little, like a volcano that dribbles a couple times, you know? Like it's, <laughs> it's really slow going. <laughs> it's yeah. like, it's like, um, what's it called? I don't know what um, I was thinking of. A limp dick is what I was thinking a of. A limp penis. That's it, Steven. Um, Yo, Tiffany we're... Stratton is now the NXT Women's Champion. But wait a minute, is she not? Who knows? We'll have to find out after the the, the, the next intro. I'm watching someone climb a ladder. So hold on, I'll tell you if she is or not. This is a blonde girl. The blonde girl is too far away to grab it. The blonde girl just got knocked down by an Indy Hartwell. Holy fuck, she almost landed on her head. Okay. Speaking of head, this guy landed on his ankle this week. That was crazy. Listen, we'll talk we're not about there that yet. later. We're not there yet. That ankle's fucked. We have to really forever. cut to the next scene now. This is really awkward transition okay. now. What are you talking about? Let's just talk about what else happened in wrestling during the week of March 9th, 2016, Steven. You ready? Yes. Okay. Hey, guys. Just like Indy Hartwell, I can't remember how to read dates. Just like how she can't remember how to climb ladders. Um... Oh shit, Andy Hartwell is struggling to climb this, climb this ladder. 
That is so true. I wonder Why is if she she's going to win the match. She keeps losing her balance on the ladder. <laughs> Every the other woman in the match is physically unable to compete. Andy Hartwell is the only healthy woman in the match left. Um, however, she doesn't want to work for NXT anymore. She's supposed to go to the main roster after tonight. If she wins this title, she is fucked. <gasps> Dexter's Wait, eating her out! Dexter's Wait, eating her out! The title. What the fuck? This is so Wait, weird. I... Dexter <laughs> Loomis fuck? is back in NXT after Fingering doing horrible her. things crazy. to The Miz. And now Indy Hartwell's our new NXT Women's no, Champion. No, no, now he, now he gives money to the children. That's, that's canon now. Wow. His head's still firmly between those thighs. Okay, well, Steven, let's talk about wrestling. And she's so lesbian. Let's talk about wrestling in the week of Dude, Roxanne's March. Roxanne's smiling that she lost her title. Good for Roxanne. <laughs> I'm fucking injured. <laughs> Dave was right, guys. She's fucking injured, guys. Okay, um, Steven. March 9th, yeah. 2016. Are you ready for it? Okay? I am so ready. Do you know the wrestler that goes by the name of Alan Jones? Styles. Angel five? No, 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 no. I'm talking about um AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. Are you familiar? Maybe. I don't know. He sounds like some shitter. I don't. I don't watch that. I don't watch wrestling. He was in in WCW. I think like the very end of their run. Um. I love how they just make toys of that one running ad in WCW for like five weeks. Well, I believe it was hired the week the company collapsed. Um, something along those All lines. the footage they could use of young AJ Styles from that from one, the same one match he had. <laughs> Every yeah. vignette. That one photo of AJ just having an entrance of his airplane theme song. It's Absolutely. so weird. Absolutely. By the way, what is the hard on WWE has with not letting women win ladder matches on their own? They always need they a man. They can't climb ladders. They really can't, I guess. Wait, wait, I don't get it. Why did she need Dex Loomis to carry her? Because her ribs hurt. Oh no, her poor ribs. Her poor ribs. Steven, listen. Yeah. AJ Styles, okay? If you're not familiar with him, Google him. He... <laughs> Do your own research. Honestly, you're, you're embarrassing. If you don't like it, don't watch it. AJ Styles debuted at the Royal Rumble a few months ago. Now he's here in WWE. He knocked out one of the Miz's teeth, okay? He's doing some crazy mm-hmm. shit. This week, big news, he is finally allowed to do the Styles Clash again. <gasps> on Heath Slater? No. That's crazy. No, oh. first he did it on Curtis Axel, oh. and then he did it on Chris Jericho. And he didn't break either of their necks. And so Vince was like, okay, it was just Yoshitatsu, that's fine. And so now Wait, AJ what about Michelle it. McCool when she did it for like five years? We don't talk about that. Okay? Oh. We don't talk about that. Breaker. That was the faith breaker, okay? A faith breaker. Yeah. Honestly, if AJ had Christian kept that woman. name, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> that would have been sick as fuck. Because it would have been so fitting. It would so make sense fitting. too, right? Because he's Christian, right? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dang. So, Steven. Uh, his finisher, though, is not the Styles Clash. It is still the Calf Crusher. His commentary makes you aware of many times. That's not his finisher. His finisher is the calf crusher. Guys, that's not his finisher. And just so you know, it's not the calf killer. It's not the ca- it's the calf crusher. Okay. Mm, mm. All good. All good. And mm-hmm. By the way, it is called the magic killer when the Good Brothers arrive. So why we changed the calf crusher, um, I don't know. But it's they fine. the magic. I love the Good Brothers. My favorite match was um that one. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. So Stephen. By the way, we, we also remember that Shane McMahon has also recently made his return to WWE around this time in 2016, right? Yes. Shane O'Mac, blackmailing his dad? Absolutely. Well, in real life, uh, Dave Meltzer has done some digging, some reporting, and it's coming mm-hmm. out that Shane McMahon is not going to be involved in an executive role only as a performer. And as we saw, this worked out very well for a number of years. Um, until, mm-hmm. until at the Royal didn't. Rumble 2021 when he assumed a creative power and promptly destroyed one of the Apparently most exciting Tyson shows of the Kidd year. Apparently Tyson Kidd and Triple H didn't produce that, and that's the reason why people blamed it for being bad. I don't remember. I didn't really care about the Royal Rumble when I watched it. I thought it. they blamed Shane, because Shane produced it. No, and no, no that's what the internet blamed. Put They're himself like, oh, in the match. Tyson and, Kidd would have produced it. Listen, 
Listen, listen. Shane McMahon was final three in the 2022 Royal Rumble. That man Why, absolutely he? booked it. Like, for sure booked he? it. Like, man, Shane McMahon is so weird. A little bit. I would have loved if Shane were in this year's Royal Rumble and he were like one of the guys that went from like number one to 30 with Gunther and <laughs> Sheamus and Drew <laughs> just going off with the big men. That'd be sick. Here comes the money. It'd be such a big pop. Here we go. Absolutely. Um, well, Steven, I popped big for this next story. Uh, Kevin Nash has announced on Taz's show or somewhere. I don't know where the fuck he announced it. He announced somewhere that he is going to donate his dead body's brain to CTE research. Woo! Wow. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, what I wouldn't give for a day with Kevin Nash's dead brain um, but also, later that week, Rob Van Dam said, let me hop on this, and also announced he will be donating his brain to CTE research after he dies. Um, this is so exciting when they the die day. this year. <laughs> when we have so this on sad. podcast footage. <laughs> it's really unfortunate they did die this year, and we just, like, are just horrible people for saying this. It would be tough. The we is, 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 is confusing. We have to there. cut this I part out anything. every, every airing. Absolutely. Daniel Cormier is at NXT, apparently. Well, Steven, let's talk about someone who did die on March 9th of 2016. Let's wait, talk wait, wait, about... wait. The Dons of NXT are making an entrance. This is oh, the fuck, part sorry. I've been excited yeah, no, for. The moment of silence. we got to pay our respects. Wait, the there's Dons. a mobster car. What the fuck? No, where's CM Punk? Where's I hate this. Punk, huh? Ah, where, where's CM hey, Punk, Where's eh? Punk, hey. ah. Yeah, you're so right, Steven. That's a that's great what, that's what we should be gangster saying. voice. Wow. Anger, man. That's can you can you in your gangster voice uh, be Finn Balor asking to wear blackface? <laughs> <laughs> ah, can I wear? <laughs> ah, here's my. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, anyways, yeah. Anyways. Hayabusa died. Hayabusa, Japanese wrestling legend. Is that like FMW, the company he worked for? Um, Hayabusa dies, and I believe soon after, um, the company he worked for that he was the star of. Uh, kind of got demolished, and because of that, the promoter of that promotion um, committed suicide because he was in debt to the Yakuza. So, this is great news for everyone in the wrestling world. Yes, shouts out to Hayabusa. He, sorry, um, wait, yeah, no, I think I got my timeline mixed up. So Hayabusa died in 2016, right? But he was like almost 50. But Hayabusa mm. was in a wheelchair, paralyzed for 12 years. Right, Steven? Do you remember this? Yes. Like Christopher so, Reeves. 12 years before 2016. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> in the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Hayabusa, when he did like a moonsault and landed on his head, and then he got paralyzed. Mm -hmm. And that's when the company failed. And that's when the promoter ended up committing suicide. What the fuck is Just Gallus? Just to get our timeline right. Gallus is the, the big boy's from NXT UK, like Wolfgang, Are they, should I the non-rapist coffee. Um, you can if you want. They have titles. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well. I don't, I'm not saying oh, well about Hayabusa dying. I'm still grieving No, that's that pretty loss. major, you know? Someone yeah. um, dying and then someone committing suicide because of that death, because of death in his company and, and emoting his life to the Yakuza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but shouts yeah. out to Hayabusa. He, he he has some action figures. You can go buy one. Uh, I think his family maybe gets profits. I mean, he's dead. Do they? He's dead in the ground. He's been that way for about seven years now, Steven. So I don't if think If you're like seen... a YouTuber and like you die, where does that passive income go? Probably just to YouTube. Like when you die you and you don't have it? family you're leaving it to, it just goes to the it goes government. goes to your bank account. What? No. Dang. What? Why, why what do you think it goes to the to bank? Go what happens to your bank account if you die? I, do, I think the government gets your money, Steven. Dang, that's unfortunate, dude. They just take it back. Maybe the My bank ten gets bucks. a cut. A whole ten. Gone I mean, forever. that's the long-term goal of the bank, you know? Listen, what I don't understand is how I'm supposed to build a retirement account. And then, when I retire, be like, Ah, oh, yes! Let me only have this much money for every year until I'm dead. Because how do I know when I'm dying? How am I supposed to divide that all up? Tell me. How am I supposed to budget for retirement? Nothing but a whore. Thank you. Anyways, any other news today? Um, yeah, WrestleMania 32 news. Uh, this is the first time in over a decade and a half John Cena will not be at WrestleMania. What? I know. That's crazy, dude. I know. It was the year before this um, that John Cena had fought... Uh... Bray Wyatt. 
Undertaker. No, he didn't fight Bray. AJ Styles. No. Who did John fight at WrestleMania? Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali. No, no, that this was this was this was still when he was a cop in Chicago. Who the fuck did John Cena fight at WrestleMania 31, Steven? Did he was he even there? Did I just read a lie? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he was just like there in the crowd watching. <gasps> he didn't fight Bray. He fought Bray at 30. Who did he fight? Because Seth Rollins fought Randy. And Bray fought Undertaker. Roman fought Brock. Who the fuck did John Cena fight at WrestleMania 31? Good question. Can you Google it? No. I need to know. That's fuck. the question for for Damn the it. youth to answer, you know. I guess so. I guess so. Anyways. Yeah? That's so sad. I can't believe John Cena is missing out on WrestleMania. I know. It's 31. It's devastating. It's a little devastating. But... Remember when he, um... Yeah? Became a meme... Because he aligns with the Chinese government. That was pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Shouts out to the Chinese government. Shouts out to the, the, the I love local Hollywood. Uh, city government of Orlando, Florida. As they have secured WrestleMania 33 as the location for that event. Uh, for the following year, Steven. I know wow. who John Cena fights at that event. I do, I do, I do. No, he fights Undertaker at WrestleMania New Orleans, okay? Oh. John Cena teams up with Nikki Bella to fight the Miz and Maurice at WrestleMania Orlando. I wow, think. what a match. Wait, no, That's they don't. That's what to a... his girlfriend. New Jersey? Shit, maybe I don't know my John Cena lore, honestly. I think I'm just a fuck-up, Steven, and I, I apologize. He's a weird man. You know, like, a little weird. I learned the other day that, like, he spent thousands of bucks on Clash of Clans. Where'd you learn like, that from? The new, apparently, on the New Day podcast, they downloaded Clash of Clans, right? And they had, like, a whole clan thing. And John Cena was part of it. And he's like the leader of the Clash of Clans clan. Yeah. And like, so after every house or, or match on Raw, he'd be like, hey, sport, that was, a, that was a really good match. But um, the last raid you did, you only got one star from that. Um, Disappointed in you? Uh-huh. Did Xavier Woods ever say, well, you also, John, you're making um, 500 times my salary. <laughs> Um, well, apparently, apparently, um, Roman Reigns was like, "Yo, fuck this clan! I'm making my own clan." Damn! <laughs> and, then the fucking, and then the Usos are like, "Shit, we gotta join our Us right there." Yeah, absolutely. It's like pre Bloodline too. Oh. So it's, it's foreshadowing, you know. That's crazy. That's wild, Stephen. I also you like should... learned from the Joe Rogan podcast, where like he invited his dad out for like a first class seat in an airplane ride. John right? Cena or Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan. Why? Okay. Right? His dad was on an airplane ride. And then, I don't think he's ever been in, like, the first class seat or whatever. So when Joe Rogan asked his dad, like, hey, how was your plane trip? The, guy, the dad was like, You know someone I mean, rides fine. planes a lot when they call them plane trips and airplane rides. Continue, Steven. But, like, but like he was like, it was alright. But, like, the guy next to me was, like, this fucking jacked muscle man. But, like, legit, all he did was um play Clash of Clans. Candy Crush on his oh. phone the entire time. And then apparently the dad was like talking about John Cena. How did Raleigh how, was how did Candy that... Crush on the plane? How, who who found that out? I think it was Joe Rogan who found that out. How did Joe was... know? Like, oh, the big muscle man. That must have been Jonathan Felix Cena. Like how? I, I don't know. They might have described him in a better way than just jacked man. He was wearing a, a purple T-shirt that said "You can't see me." <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> he was like that guy from the Fruity Pebbles cereal box from five years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways. That's besides the point of John Cena spending thousands in mobile games. Yeah. Well, Steven, I have one last news story from March 9th of 2016. And yes. it goes along the same lines of my last story about WrestleMania 33 being announced for Orlando. Because there are mm -hmm. rumors coming out that WWE might be opening a physical location for their Hall of Fame in... No, no, <laughs> bro, bro, this guy just fucking missed a senton on the ground. <laughs> This taxi match? Wait, this guy goes for it. a senton, misses me... the senton completely? Oh the no, because he still it. sold it! He still the sold it! Sold... Wolf the guy sold, sold the senton that missed! I see that. That's fucked up, Steven. Damn. Bruh. What Bruh, the that fuck? That guy's career is over, dude. That, guy was, that, guy's, that guy's career is done. He's just running on adrenaline. Didn't even feel it. This guy looks lame as fuck. Is this who was supposed to replace Two Dimes Donovan? I think so, actually. It didn't work. Okay. Well, Steven, listen. Anyways, there are rumors. A physical Hall of Fame is coming to Orlando, Florida. Okay? 
And again, this yeah. is back in 2016. Can I read you word for word the um, the article headline for this story? Man, this match is really sloppy. I'm not going to lie. Well, it's all... Are you talking about the man who just missed the tower of three people as he jumped off yeah. the turnbuckle? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This match is fucking so bad. This is oh my gosh. Wow. Anyways, what's up? The the article, the headline, is going to yeah. have such little impact or punch now because of our distractions. Um, oh no. However, the headline says, quote, Tom Ancy of Attractions Management Magazine reports that a, quote, WWE Museum Come Restaurant is on its way to <laughs> Universal come Studios. Restaurant? A Come Restaurant? <laughs> it says it in the news article. Uh, it says it says WWE hyphen museum hyphen come, come hyphen restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> is on its way to Universal Studios. I've been to Universal since 2016. I found no wrestling memorabilia, and I found no cum, okay? And that's personally very disappointing. Or restaurants. Maybe. Would you eat at a WWE restaurant? I feel like that'd be such a If they're serving menu. cum, yeah. But otherwise... What, 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 what would the things be? What would, like... Fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pe okay. Kung Pao Chicken? For that one time The Rock said it in a promo. Kong Pao Pong ice cream fucker. bars. Oh well, shit! But they can't sell that anymore. Oh fuck. Um, they could sell uh, pancakes. Hulk Hogan spaghetti. Oh, pancakes. Budios. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope they lose the rights to Budios, so they just have to call them assholes. I really hope so. Um, what other food is there, Steven? Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? <clears throat> Joe Coffee. I don't know who that is. Oh, I think he's the one that got outed for me too. Oh, now he's or mad. is that his that's brother? Awesome. Wait, is this a return? Yeah, that's yeah. the me too one, I think. Oh, so. sick! I love wrestling. This match I is could awesome. Be wrong. I could be this wrong. This is awesome. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. This just... is awesome. Listen, I just, I think, I think, guys, it's like I Dave can't Meltzer, wait. Guys, it might or might be true. It might pay me right. money. Uh, that was a badass finisher that Gallus just did, by the way. Like the knee yeah. to the head, followed by a swinging reverse Brock thing. What the fuck? So why um, isn't there a come restaurant at Universal? Well, I think WWE probably pitched it to them, and then maybe Universal Studios said, "What's a come restaurant?" And then WWE said exactly what you think. Yes. Then... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Awesome. So yeah, I'm not too certain, but it should be open by March 2017. How successful would a WWE museum be? Cause like, you you're at Universal, right? You you go on the Harry Potter ride, like oh fuck yeah, I love Harry Potter, I love Butterbeer. You go on the Simpsons ride, yes, I love giant screens, awesome. And then you see across the street, John Cena crossing his arms on a billboard, and you're like, yes, I want to go there. And then you go in. And all you see is what they put in the WrestleMania store museum. It's just that, I assume. It'd be a little tough. It'd be a little tough. Steven, I, I think it only works in that context of being in a place you're already going to. Like, no one would travel for, like, no one's going to Idaho for a WWE museum, right? But mm -hmm. if it's, like, on the strip in Las Vegas or in, like, Disney World, people would probably go, you know? What if Disney buys WWE? What if? That'd Who be cares? Crazy. That'd be insane. Do you think they'd have to get rid of Logan Paul? Do you think like backstage someone asked Logan Paul what the f what's up with his crypto scam? Like like Dominic's like yo Logan, what's up with crypto zoom, man? Hmm. Yo, Cora Jade segment. This is what? Awesome. No way. What's she doing? Why didn't she win the title? She's Why didn't Dexter at the stick his head between her thighs? Why didn't Braun Breaker? lift her up and then they could have battled on top of the ladder that would have been awesome are they canonical like dating are they canonically no, dating no. in the show who no then get blake christian to do it steven i, I bet don't she's care. injured ah oh, fuck well, that's why you need a man to help okay mm. listen that was our week of from march 9th of twenty. wait has there ever been a match where a woman has won without a man's help ever you not even not even think about well, it technically yeah. a woman can't be born without a man's help so in that sense no, technically WWE versa. is run by Vince McMahon, 
And so without him, WWE wouldn't exist and a woman would have never won, it, won in, in this company. Who's that one girl that like went to WCW, dropped the title in like a trash bin? Um, you mean Alundra Blaze, Medusa. Yeah, that one. That yes. was sick. That was sick. But again, that could have only happened with the help of the men around her. I think that's worth um, repeating now, ad this nauseum. this is based. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's time for the current events. Health. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to the current events, I guess. Hey, guys. Welcome to this week. Uh, WrestleMania weekend. Oh my goodness. There's so many shows this week like WrestleMania day one, WrestleMania day two, I the NXT one night. at WrestleMania. That's live it's... as we're recording. AEW, that one. Oh yeah. A Ring of Some Honor. Some GCW show of probably. Honor. Uh, um, the Indie Wrestling Hall of Fame ceremony. That the one? The actual you know Hall of Fame ceremony. Hmm? <laughs> no, that, that one already happened yesterday. Oh, shit, shit, shit. As yeah. a recording. Um, okay. um, wrestling show. That that one where they wrestle. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. What an exciting weekend. A lot of exciting wrestling this weekend. Yeah, no, it sounds like it, Steven. It absolutely sounds like it. Um, well, before we talk about wrestling, let's talk about real life, okay? I want to talk okay. about some real news from this week. That involves um, two fake fighters. Let's talk about the news revolving Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Two men who have matches on both nights of WrestleMania, Steven. Okay. Seth on night wow. one. Cody on night two. Apparently, a couple weeks ago in an interview, Cody was like, Yeah, I have real life issues with Seth Rollins. We almost got in a fist fight. And at the time, I think to myself, Oh, ha ha ha. Cody's just an idiot. Cody's just tr trying to make drama, you know? Mm -hmm. um, He's being real. But now Daniel Cormier did an interview with Seth Rollins and he said, Seth, what about that stuff that Cody said? And Seth was like, yeah, that's kind of true. I don't like him. Um, oh. And I feel weird that he's in this <laughs> that's company. That's so sad. Yeah. I still think like Seth was also probably working. I, I don't think this is real. Um, but no. Daniel Cor why would he work Daniel Cormier? Why would he lie to Daniel Cormier? Why would he lie to an interview for public media? Exactly. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Seth Rollins is not known to do that. To, to oh play my a character gosh. In, his, in his media interviews and appearances. So they have real life heat, does the Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. That's I hope crazy. they don't come to blows um, at WrestleMania night one or night two. That's insane. This is insane. crazy. This is crazy. crazy. They chant. Mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you know what happened on AW like yesterday? I don't. Or today, um, one of Top Flight, Dante from Top Flight died. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Dude's ankle got fucked. Uh, Pentagon. So is a... this tag team just, like, not a thing ever at this point? Like, Well, this is Dante's first injury, so now it's time for Dar Darius to have a solo run. Is he going to have the push, but he's not as good, so it's not going to be as, as fun? Maybe he's even better. Maybe Darius is, is going to... Maybe he's, like, Tyson Kidd times three, you know? Who knows? Who knows, man? Or right, did you just make a comparison of, of uh, indirectly yes. of Dante Martin and David Hart Smith? Because I struggled <laughs> to connect those dots in my head. He's like Davy Hart Boy Jr. That guy's awesome. Whoa, dude. that's awesome. Who is the Teddy Hart of Top Flight? Uh, is it AR Fox? AR Fox. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty. That's no. pretty. That makes a lot of sense, though. You know. Like, no, I guess so. I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Well, Stephen. Uh, shouts out to Dante. His, I mean, literally, like, it's not even a joke. That dude's ankle was like crooked on his leg last night. Yeah, that guy's fucked for life, right? That's like, the type of like injury you don't wrestle again from. I feel like. Oh you man, know? poor Dante, man. Yeah. So that's a little um, unfortunate. Unfortunate, dude. One man who was supposed to wrestle this weekend but found out he also was going to be unable to compete was Bobby Lashley. Is Bray Wyatt? What? Uh, apparently can't make it to Mania, so Bobby it's okay. Was He's won the Andre the Giant Battle Royale, exactly. Which is a good replacement. The Memorial Battle Royal was won by none other than Lashley. Who, who needs that that pay that WrestleMania pay when you can get giant statue of a when man? You can get that big Fox paycheck, um, for a Friday night. Oh, Shawn Michaels is feeling up Wesley right now on my television. 
That's awesome. This is awesome. Hell this yeah, it is. is awesome. Hell yeah, it is. You know what else I think is awesome, Steven? What? That's the fact that Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias did an interview this week. You see this story? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't see Fluff any fucking wrestling stories this week. I'm going to be honest. Well, Gabriel Iglesias is not a wrestler, to be clear. He's a stand-up comedian, comedian of Hispanic heritage. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. And he said in an interview that uh, Rey Mysterio uh, really should have beaten Dominic Mysterio as a child if only Dominic but were he raised did. in a different era. Um, little, yes, exactly. Little does he know <laughs> that that Rey Mysterio is a massive child beater. Um, mm -hmm. so. I can quote him right now. Mm -hmm. I can't Please. wait to beat my kids in WWE 13. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Did he even say in? Or just I can't wait to beat my kids tonight. Hashtag WWE 2K. Oh, I think that's what he said, actually. I think that's legit what he said. <laughs> I can't wait to beat my kids. That's what he said. Oh my god, can I get Finn Balor in a Hispanic accent saying he wants to do blackface? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dang, Finn Balor. Dang. Dang, Finn. There's no That's way he didn't know, right? That he was blackfacing, right? There's no way. Finn? I mean, a little Irish boy. Maybe they don't have that over there. Who's to say? Isn't it like something to do, do with American history? Do you think they were told like, he was like, no, you, you can't do that, Finn. That's like really bad. Or was it like... How about this idea instead, Finn? How about like a demon, you know? Like when What if that cool? were the hill Finn wanted to die on? He was like, no, <laughs> I'm not coming to WWE unless I can paint my face all the way black. I want to paint my face black. Let me have this creative freedom. <laughs> or what if he comes to WWE, but is like really resentful in his gimmick that he's like anti-liberal, anti-woke, and he just really wants to be like a black face on TV. Exactly. Egg, exactly. Well, Steven, this is wrestling. Gabriel I say this Iglesias as is coming out. Believes that Dominic should be beaten or should have been beaten. Um, and also, is this a shoot thing or is it like a like? Is he well, is he being real here? He's a stand-up comedian. I doubt it. But I didn't listen I really, to the interview for context. Shouts out. What to if Axiom. he legit wants Ray to beat up his children? I mean, I would too. You know. Well, He's going, literally, Ray is going to beat up his child tonight, Steven. How's that not the main event? You know, that's so lame. Dude. Honestly, Dave Meltzer or, reported that there has been you know, so much traction for this Ray Mysterio Dominic Mysterio match, maybe second only to the stuff going on with the bloodline, um, that Triple H it's actually has. As if this match has been built up for the past five years. Hell yeah. I would say the past 24 years, even. Steven, listen. It all started from that one ladder match from 2004. This isn't a joke. Dave Meltzer reported that Triple H has big plans to make Dominic a star after WrestleMania. What? Listen, that's coming from Dave. That's fucking... How did he know? There's no way! Why was that the part you were excited? Why are you excited that Dave knew? You should be excited that Dom's gonna be a star. I don't know fuck that Dave know found out. How did he know this Dave got a How scoop? How did he know? How did he know? How did he know this? How? How That's he, crazy! He's back at it! He's always Who's doing this! Source? He has this newsletter. There's news in it. Who Who would have thought? That's, oh my god. He's such a good journal. He's so good. <laughs> he's Fuck Sean so, Ross. So good at his job. <laughs> Another win guys, for the good I have, guys. I have major confirmation, guys. After the Logan Paul match, Seth Rollins might be in the main event scene. I know. Big Wait, like news. That, like that night? Like, is he going to interfere in the Uso, Sammy, and, and Kevin match? Um, My sources did not tell me that. Oh. Yeah, Dragon Lee's theme is kind of sick. What the heck? How, what's it sound like? Sing it for me. Whoa! I know. The crowd is so quiet, by the way, for Dragon Lee. Oh, apparently oh, shit, Dave they fucked also... up his entrance. It just... Wait, what the fuck is his entrance? Where it froze? This is like Johnny Mundo. Wait, what the now fuck? Listen. That wasn't his entrance? This ain't no make-believe. Come on. Open your eyes and see. This is Drago slash Johnny Mundo? This is Dragon L. Lee. Dragon Lee. Azteca? Dragon L. Lee. Oh, Dragon okay. Lee. Um, Steven. The brother of Dre 
that one dude Dralisinko. that looks like Kara. And yeah, that dude. Roosh. Steven. Roosh. Listen. Apparently. I love me some Roosh. <laughs> me too. Apparently, <laughs> Dragon Lee is making big money for an NXT superstar right now. And guess who that comes from? Triple H. Well, maybe. I guess he's probably in charge of payroll, something like that. But I was more thinking Dave was reporting on it. But I can't yeah. even confirm that. Yeah. It might have been Sean. Um, that's tough. Final bit of news before we get into the WrestleMania card, Steven. <laughs> I just fucking love Dave Meltzer being like, guys, Dominic is going to be pushed after his WrestleMania match with his father, the Hall of Famer. <laughs> like, what? Like, it's no shit. What the fuck? Exciting. <laughs> It's like no shit day. No, it's not no shit. Cause what if Ray beats Dominic and then they're like, oh shit, well that was the one good story we could ever do with Dominic. Cause that might happen, not even joking. You think you Ray's gonna be Dominic? You think he's gonna go against his word of wanting to put his child over of his Ooh. last match? It could be That's possible, you know. Yeah, Maybe no, it's a it's raw a rematch point. tomorrow. It's if Dominic a wins. Maybe they should have made it a ladder match, honestly. They they honestly could, made why didn't match. they? Because Ray's. Like why didn't they make 16. a ladder match for custody? You know, over Ray's Dominic's old freedom. Man, over Dom. Oh wow. I guess <laughs> it's so. a ladder match. Or it's a contract for um this ownership. This oh, oh <laughs> to get rid to no longer be responsible for Dominic <laughs> Mysterio. You mean? No, okay, by lobby's oh, well. father. That makes sense. Drew McIntyre's contract runs out after. 2023 steven we're in the last year of it okay wow and guess what apparently drew has been unable to come to terms with wwe on a new contract thus far um but we have That's another crazy. year to go so i don't know why this I is hope a new he story signs a now five-year contract like kevin owens did and then people get really mad about it woo, woo, woo. that'd be awesome i love it yeah any too, aew bro. news besides dante just dying i mean Tony Khan is yeah, apparently he was friends with CM Punk and was like, Punk, you can come back to AEW. But then CM Punk was like, Jericho sucks ass and also I want to have gay sex with him. And then, or what I forget what the shit post was, but it was something to that effect. Um, and now Tony Khan's like, I Punk, I don't think I can bring you back now. So that's a little sad. <laughs> what the fuck, Punk? <laughs> I, I hate know. gay sex. <laughs> so true that's what he so said true oh wait wasn't the story that someone met cm punk and then they had gay sex no it was someone met sean michaels at someone a restaurant met sean michaels and then they had a gay had affair gay sex. Mm, but cm punk posted it so it was like punk met michaels and then they had a gay affair wow that's just awesome. like the three ghosts of vince mcmahon's past just like it steven just um, like daniel it. bryan adam cole and luke harper Shouts out to John Huber, okay? Um, listen, Steven, we need to talk about WrestleMania. It's night one and night two. We haven't watched it yet as NXT Stand and Deliver is still happening. But Dave was so nice to send over the results. Oh, so my goodness. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mm -hmm. Dave. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. We why also do you have. Money? Why do you pay money for the WN? All this shit that's important just comes out for free, you know. Like, what's Listen, the point of paying for it? Support <laughs> journalism, no so Dave can afford a space to keep his old newspapers. Okay. His, have you seen his room? Yeah, that's crazy. I know he cleaned it up though, so it's okay. Listen. Oh, okay. Night one, Stephen. Paper we have shredder, results like right here. Um, nah, I don't think so. Um, Move listen. Them. We have the results. Night one, right here. The piece of paper. Also, the official match order is here as well. Um, the show starts with Austin Theory versus John Cena for the United States Championship. Okay? What happens wow. in this match? Dude, I can't believe John Cena won. That's kind of crazy, you know? Like... Well, we'll win. We'll, we're looking at the results for later tonight, oh. of course. Yeah, I can't believe they have it. Remember, guys, in. if these guys, if these things don't happen, <laughs> sub card subject change. to change. It says it right here okay. in big letters. Okay, this but isn't right the final now, draft, guys. Sometimes the show changes a minute sometimes. during the match. You know, a minute in. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. a minute when the match ends, like that minute. Yeah, sometimes. Oh. Sometimes you break your ankle all the way around, and then you get new mm -hmm. Ring of Honor tag champs. Sometimes you, know? you just, just die. Happens. 
It just happens. Who's, who's the new tag champs? Is it? The Lucha Wait, was this supposed to be top flight? So I don't sad. know. I don't That's know. That's so sad. Oh, poor top flight. That's a little tough for them. Um, but oh, Theory well. versus Cena. It is penciled in right now for John Cena um, to win this championship. Um, and you promote his new movie. Mm hmm. Which is. Does it mention what the new movie is? No. No? Okay. John Cena just says, guys, stay tuned. I'm going back to Hollywood. Um, well, I'm you're in, in I'm Hollywood, I'm staying John. in Hollywood. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. Uh, wow, good, good for, for John, John Cena. Cena. Exactly. He's exactly. canon in the Marvel Universe. Whoa. That's so cool. That is so awesome. So, shout out to John Cena for winning clean over Theory tonight. That'll be so exciting. Can't wait um, for that reaction when he wins. Everyone's gonna cheer. They will. They absolutely like will. Mm -hmm. I'm cheering. Me too. The entire country of China is gonna be on the edge of their seats, okay? Do they have so in China? Excited. Yeah, of course. They have a partnership with Ho Ho Wait, like, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, wait, no, because, like, wasn't there a time where, like, they only hired, like, Chinese guys for NXT? They, and they all, like, well, sucked? They hired a lot of Chinese guys, yeah, like... Oh, oh shit, there's that tall guy. Boa? Boa. Boa, actually, it's penciled in here in really small font, Steven. You may have missed it. He actually makes his debut. <laughs> his main roster debut <laughs> the here. John Cena. <laughs> the hell? There's no way. John Cena, he's pushing an ice cream cart to the ring. Um, It was what it looks oh like. My That's gosh. so exciting. Um, the, the, all the Zoomers were saying Bing Chilling chants. It was insane. It was kind of insane. So, shouts out to John for that one. Shouts out to Boa as well. I'm so glad they finally got it back. One of those COVID releases, I, I believe. So Were all of them COVID releases? All the Chinese guys? <laughs> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> they have to get rid of all. <laughs> Vince sent the policy down across the board. <laughs> this, this is, is before crazy. Zack Ryder was let go, before anyone else. This Aww. is awesome. This is this awesome. Is this is really Anyways. tough. What's next the next up? match at WrestleMania 39? It's, of course, the showcase tag team match between oh. four teams. Braun Strowman and Trevor, Alpha Academy, the Street Profits, and the Viking Raiders. Wow, wow. the Viking Raiders are going to win. That's crazy. <laughs> the Viking I heard they're Raiders. up for a really big push after this match. I they're going to win so the tag team titles. As well, I heard so as well. They actually did the Roman Reigns stack fuck pin. Um, to all six people in this match. Each other included on top. <laughs> Each other. They had to jump from the top rope. <laughs> to, to get and on then top. they had gay sex. It they didn't awesome. realize, actually, though, that by the time they had gotten on top of the pile and started having gay sex, um, Trevor <laughs> had actually counting. been on top of Alpha Academy for 20 <laughs> seconds. Ron Strowman and Ricochet win. <laughs> so That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is wrestling. They just stole the spot. A fucking Sami Zayn grabbing the ref's arm going down in the <laughs> NXT match. What? They just oh, I thought you meant I thought I thought you meant like Trevor and Braun. <laughs> no, <laughs> like okay, okay. Oh, dude, okay. fucking Trevor Braun's winning, right? Cause like Braun is too big, right? Unless they fuck him up, he's like, too big to lose. Realistically, well, again, again, Braun Strowman has beaten Cesaro and Sheamus with a child as his tag team partner canonically. It's a good point. It's a good point. But where the fuck are Sheamus and Cesaro now? Okay. That's a good exactly. question, actually. Exactly. Next Anyways. up, Steven. It's Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus, and Lita versus Damage Control. I forgot they were a tag team, Trish Stratus and Lita. I don't think they ever were a tag team. I think they were rivals. But like, why did they win the rivals. title? Hmm. Why did they win the NXT? Why did they win the women's tag team title? They did. Yeah. Like, recent, because that title didn't used to exist. Yeah. Wow. They beat cool. Damage Control. I love Damage Control. Yeah, me too. I was What's very damage sad. Control match? What was my favorite Damage Control match? I like their debut at SummerSlam. <laughs> I like their theme song. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we got the power. We got the ba. We got the ba. Yeah. And Triple H knows what the people want. He let their theme song play for the entire match. It was awesome. Cool. All 80,000 fans erupted. 
we don't um, even know who won. Um, <laughs> no, um, we were too busy singing with our eyes closed. It's crazy. Uh, the crowd won, you know, in the they end. They really did. They really did. It just was a sing-along. All six women just started singing together and walked mm -hmm. out as champions, all six of them. It was a beautiful moment. Next up, father versus son vignette. Rey Mysterio and Dominic have the only vignette of the show. It, it goes 20 minutes, actually. Um, preparing for their match later tonight, so I'm excited for that. Um, <laughs> I hope Dominic comes out on a low rider. That'd be so funny. Yo, that would be sick as hell. I hope he comes out um, on Camacho's bicycle. Um, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> With Rhea on like the other fucking tiny hell, one. Oh yeah, that'd, <laughs> that'd be, be sick. sick. Well, speaking Yo, of Dragon Rhea, is bleeding. What the fuck? Oh no. You could do um, that. I mean, I guess if it's real, if it's for shoot. Um, but for shoot, Steven, this next match is for the Raw Women's Championship. It's the Royal Rumble winner, Rhea Ripley, challenging Charlotte Flair, the champion. And Wait, wow. we, never told, we never said who won the last match. Well, no, we said that they just didn't air a vignette for it. Ray versus Dominic isn't happening oh. yet. Yeah, it's just fun oh, okay. here on the card. <laughs> this is the entire thing. script. We're not doing the card. We're just doing the entire script of the show. Yeah, the whole script of the show <laughs> is that makes just sense. done right here. It yeah, makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> So next up is Charlotte versus Rhea. Next up is an ad for Snickers. It was crazy. <laughs> it was. It played during both of their entrances. Um, so we really just start with both women in the ring. It's very unceremonious. Um, mm -hmm. You could. It was picture in picture for a Snickers ad. Charlotte did of a helicopter um, again, but again you really couldn't tell. Um, so Charlotte, uh, she she won with a big boot five seconds into this <laughs> wow. match. Um, Rhea, Dominic Sheamus. was actually there at the side of the ring. They were kissing. Rhea and Dom were they kissing. They weren't kissing. They were holding hands. They were holding Excuse hands you. really intensely um, when Rhea let go, turned around, and got big booted and lost. Um, so is Dominic like the leader of the Judgment Day? He's the only one who gets like promos in the Judgment Day. Yeah, it's a good... Well, he did grab the microphone after the Charlotte Flair win. Um, and then he said some um, really, really misogynistic stuff. Charlotte, um, <laughs> your gigantic muscular pelvic muscles are distracting me. Exactly. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He made a reference to the mole that used to be on her face. It was really rude. Okay. You look like. Uncalled you look, for. You look like Ellsworth. You look like Ric Flair, but. But a woman. Manlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look like a manly version of Ric Flair <laughs> from so 2014. <laughs> Damn. Nailed her. Charlotte went to the back crying. It was unfortunate. Um, next up, uh, before uh, the Logan Paul and Seth Rollins match was actually the, the Hall of Fame, Stephen, where they have all the Hall of Famers come out and wave. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, Rey Mysterio was front and center. He is, of course, the headliner for this Hall of Fame. Dude, Ray has to do that, like, twice. That sucks for him, dude. Poor guy. Poor, poor He has to, like, come out for the Hall of Famer and then, like, do the match after that immediately. Poor Ray Ray. Sucks. Poor Ray Ray. But poor as Ray. Ray Mysterio was standing there waving to the crowd, pouring milk on himself, Dominic mm -hmm. showed up from behind and hit him with the Kata Um <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> teasing their match later in the night. <laughs> They're um, still teasing it. <laughs> so far, they've had a 30-minute vignette, um, a promo after the Rhea match, and now this. So this is big. Um, this is very big. Next up, Logan Paul versus Seth Rollins. Steven, how does this one go? Wow, I can't believe Michael Cole mentioned CryptoZoo that you could buy right now. <laughs> Get your own NFT egg. It can hatch into an animal, and you can breed with other animals to make your own NFT. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, what they forgot to mention before they promoted this match, and is like a big twist on the night of WrestleMania, is that this is actually going to be the first ever WWE match to take place in the metaverse. Um, oh my goodness, <laughs> with Prime sponsoring this match too. Exactly. It was crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In it's, VR. <laughs> it was just a screen so, recording of SmackDown so see, versus Raw. In, in the match, 2K. you see. Mm -hmm. Seth comes out, Logan comes out, and then the ref hands them both a VR headset, the Oculus Rift what? from Facebook. No. They both wear it. Who the fuck is calling Whoa. me at fucking 1 p.m.? Stop exposing Facebook secrets, Steven. What the f- Who, who would you call know, at an unreasonable hour like this? Who would call at this PM? time period? Who would call during the Seth Rollins and Logan Paul discussion where we spoil the ending of the, the VR Metaverse match? 
The disrespect. I'm, I'm frustrated. I can't finish this anymore. Oh this my match gosh. Will not be spoiled. No! Tune this in tonight. This match will not be spoiled, guys. Tune in. Tune two in nights two ago. days ago when yeah. this recording comes out. <laughs> to see how the metaverse match unfolds. Wow. Anyways. Yeah. Anyways. Time for the semi main event of the evening. It is. Um. It's Rey Mysterio versus Dominic. They don't even get the main spot, um, which is tough. I what if do it like? What if like Dominic can't actually legally own the name Mysterio? So it's like Rey Mysterio versus Dominic. That'd be I so mean, funny. <laughs> do they build him as Dominic Mysterio right now? I thought it was no, just actually. Dom. I actually oh. don't know. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, it was yeah, like, I would it was like a squash. That, we were discussing earlier, like, the fact that it could have been a ladder match for, like, the custody. It could be a ladder match for the name Mysterio. So both mm. men have to come out as just Ray and Dom. That'd be kind of cool. Um, That's crazy how Ray just got a Glock, considering, like, it was really poor timing. Well, this was the big return of Arn Anderson, if you remember. He was sitting front row and did, like, his NXT moment, like he's about to debut down there. Mm. Um, but he threw a Glock in the ring, and it was directly in the Ray Mysterio's hands. Um mm. That's kind of uh, weird. Like, like the timing is really unfortunate too with recent events in American history. Yeah. In U.S. news. All like, those Glocks going around the country. You're right. Yeah. Um, kind of poor but, taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because um, it was especially poor taste because um, Ray didn't have it in him to shoot his own son, so he turned the gun around on himself, um, pulled the trigger, but it was just one of those silly little Steve Austin guns with just like a bang flag that shoots out of it. So there was this really emotional moment where the entire crowd thought they watched the man commit suicide. <laughs> but it was funny. really just the bang flag. Everyone was kind of there watching sad. Dominic just thought he watched his dad kill himself, but then he didn't. Yeah, so Dominic's not in this, by together. the way. Like, Dominic's um, not... Like, he doesn't know. Like, this is a spoiler. We're not supposed to tell Dominic this. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. He's yeah. supposed to find... <laughs> this is going to be real trauma. We inflict. They inflict on Dominic Mysterio. Um, yeah. So it actually ends on a very touching moment where, where they hug mm. together, they cry because like, it was an emotional moment, very vulnerable between the two of them. Um, and then Dominic tells Ray, you shouldn't have gotten a vasectomy 25 years ago. And kicks him in the balls. That was um, crazy. Yeah. Honestly, Emmy award winning show right here. Mm -hmm. Moment. Because yeah. Dom then proceeded to pull out a Glock from his back pocket and shoot his dad in the head. Um, after Final, match. beautiful he'd ending. He'd won. This was just extra. Um, it's quite a beautiful ending. Yeah. That's probably should have been the main event, but they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should have been end. By the way, cuts the Snickers head after this. <laughs> <laughs> the same Ray Mysterio <laughs> Snickers head. <laughs> it's Ray like it's it's like the Big Show right eating a Snickers yeah. and the guy's like, Ray, you're not you and you're hungry. And then he feeds the Big Show Snickers, and it's it's Rey Mysterio now. Oh, wow, wow! Who would have? That's awesome. Who would have seen it? Because <laughs> Snickers does a whole bunch of ads like that, right? They only yeah. air the same one over and over again this entire weekend. Um, it's really Crazy. obnoxious. That's by not the even end. a yeah. joke. That's like legit commentary on Snickers. Ads. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and then before we can get to the main event, we actually have that Cricket Wireless ad with Charlotte that they show all the time. Um, they decided <laughs> this one too. For that, that was one. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, and now it's time for our main event on a blood-soaked canvas. It's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus the Usos for the tag team championships. Wow, um, this match happened. It was crazy. Yeah, the crowd was awfully silent given the events that preceded. I like um, the part where Sami Zayn was like, "Wait a minute, I don't want to be the tag team champion anymore." And then he leaves. That was crazy. He just wow. left the match completely. Did he rejoin the this... bloodline or did he just like quit? I don't know. Maybe. Well, Kevin was left to fend for himself. And that he did um, as he double pop-up powerbombed the Usos. I don't know how that's possible. So now but he's he... both champions of he's SmackDown and Raw. Double champions. Um, Good for him by himself so shouts out to ko um we're worried about the mental health of Sami Zayn. um it may have been a personal stand of his to not wrestle after a man was just killed in the ring um Maybe. which is valid like, very valid why is it a storyline where some guy got shot in the head 
but like for real what but for real like it was in like ray agreed he consented um it, was it makes like no sense suicide yeah like why was this the show's crazy it's a little wild steven it's off the rails but this is wrestlemania season you never know what's gonna happen um i see but again card subject to change so some of those events events might not be completely accurate um uh -huh. wacky wacky events could change things last minute he's now officially an employee again i don't know if you heard steven it's time for night two. Oh my gosh there's so mm -hmm. many matches mm -hmm. do you want to know the first match this. of the night what is the first match it's brock lesnar versus omas dude as an almost sapien i'm glad to say omas is going over Hell yeah, and he does so with the debut of his new finishing move, uh, the Starship Pain. Which that was crazy. Looks he did awesome off the ladder when too. Omos does. How? <laughs> Tell me how, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brock takes out a ladder to do a Starship Pain, but he misses again. Okay, you just said Brock kicks out of the ladder to do the Starship Pain, but again. No, he Can takes out the ladder to do a Starship Pain, but misses. Mm, okay, reminiscing okay, that time okay. he did it once oh like he's holding ago. the ladder and does a starship yeah pain. i thought you meant it was um, an awful ladder the starship no pain. no no okay then okay. almost grabs the ladder does a starship pain onto brock lesnar <laughs> um so many and then has gay sex match. of him it was pretty cool <laughs> okay. he was inspired by the viking raiders or is this his <laughs> announcement that he's joining the viking raiders <laughs> Remember, back then, in the Viking days, they all had orgies, you know? It was crazy. Yeah, no, I get that. Omos really wants to be a Viking. Omos wins, right? Not Brock? That's what we said? That's yeah. That's what the paper says? Okay, go. Oh, go. wouldn't it? Why wouldn't he? Sorry, I didn't have all my glasses Omos sapiens on. in the crowd. Let me okay. put them on. All the sapiens, they were like, yo, this guy's awesome. I love Omos. Mm -hmm. He's sick. Mm -hmm. um, next match oh. of the night, Steven. Uh, this is my personal uh, most anticipated. Uh, and let me just give me some time to read out all these names. Uh, the team of Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez versus the team of Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler versus the team of Natalia Neidhart and Shotzi Blackheart versus the team of Chelsea Green Why is this and Sonya match? Deville. What was the well, build? Where's Aaliyah, I think, is the more important question. Okay? Where's Bad and Bougie? That's what, or, or Country and Bougie or whatever the fuck their team was called. That's what I need to know. Is Raquel Rodriguez just going to be in a tag team stable forever? Like her whole I career is just being guess. tag team partners with someone else? I guess so. Why can't she be like the meat for Indy Hartwell? That'd be sick as hell, you know? Yeah. Like that yeah. one tweet from Hot... You ever seen that tweet from Hot Pockets? I was like, you think your life is hard? Try having meat inside of you 24-7. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> it's pretty good. based. That's so awesome. Anyways. Um... <laughs> Um, you think life is hard. <laughs> I can't, I can't, it's so stupid. It's not funny. It's a reference to something from two hours ago now. What do you um, mean? <laughs> it, you I think found... life's hard. Try having a dragon-sized dildo in you 24-7. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's so I couldn't funny. remember the animals about? of the dildo company. I don't even remember the dildo it's company's so name. It's not hilarious. It's bad. Um, what else was bad is, of course, Edge's WrestleMania match this year with Finn Balor. It takes place in a hell... This match is going to be so fucking gimmicky, dude. It's going to be fucking Demon Finn versus Edge as, like, some vampire man. It's crazy. In a cell. Mm -hmm. in a cell. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. This match is going to be, like, 30 minutes, too. Mm -hmm. Oof. Well, you know how, like, they actually have it written out exactly as I'm about to describe it. Um, You know how, like, Orange Cassidy in his matches, he tries to put his hands in his pocket the whole match and like the mm -hmm. like the tension is built by people grabbing his arms and keeping him from putting his hands in his pockets mm -hmm. um this match is going to be built a lot like that but instead of getting your hands in your pockets finn balor is trying hands to apply blackface oh oh oh, oh my <laughs> wait, what if... i might have gotten the wrong script yeah what did your you script know? say <laughs> oh wait a minute this script says something completely different after what that what does yours say what does yours say Oh, I can't say this on air. Oh, oh no. no. That's the one that oh, Finn no. submitted. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a... uh oh. This is quite Whoa. awkward, dude. Finn's version. That's crazy. Um, well, uh, yeah, no, I think how the actual spoilers go um, is that, um, yeah, no, Edge is the hero of the day. Uh, oh, yeah, Edge he knocks won. the makeup yeah, out of putting over young talent, you know? Ballard that's what they hand. say. 
Exactly. That's what Isn't they they're do like say. ten years apart. I think. Fuck it's not yeah. that young. Fuck yeah. Um, Edge, of course, hit a spear from the top of the Hell in a Cell, meaning that Finn was on the ramp, the entrance ramp. <laughs> and Edge did a spear from the top onto Finn. It was crazy. Um, I like the part where Finn's moment. music played, and mm -hmm. then he starts humping the ground to come back to life after the match ended. Yeah, yeah, that was at the 45-minute mark, if you remember And then he beats correctly. up Edge, but that's not all. This storyline is never going to end. I'm so excited. Yeah, of course. Well, we got to get yeah. the the rematch at WrestleMania Backlash, Steven. Like, that's the best. The best part of WrestleMania is knowing yeah. that we get to see all these matches again in 30 days. You know? I feel bad for Damien Priest. What is he doing? Poor guy. Wasn't he in the Andre or something? Or was he not invited? No. I don't think that's he was. Tough. That's really tough. Uh, that's so sad. Maybe he's, like, just hanging out with Matt Riddle, supporting him in rehab. That'd be kind of yeah. cool. Doing Eiffel yeah. Towers on women. Sure. Yeah. That sounds fun. Is he still, like, in rehab, right? Is he suspended? Who? Riddle? Who? Matt uh, Riddle? Uh, well, I saw that Dave, rep <laughs> Dave reported they have plans for Riddle after Mania. So what? That's crazy. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's insane. I know. This is kind of why. I don't know how Dave does it on such a consistent basis. How does basis. he know? Fuck, does he man. know? Fuck, he's so good at this. Um, next up, Bianca what Belair versus Asuka. Who knows? Bianca They're just Belair plans. versus Asuka for the SmackDown Women's Championship, I believe. Isn't it Raw? I I don't know. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. They're both the same. <laughs> They're yeah. both the same. So What is Bianca's like storyline right now? I don't think she had a storyline like years. Like a rivalry in years, you know? Mm -hmm. Bianca. Mm -hmm. I, I think she just beats people at pay-per-views and then leaves like like Roman yeah. Reigns does I yeah I don't quite know what the story is going into this one it doesn't look like the the people who wrote the script do either Steven um they had a match they, well there's just question marks next to the results like I don't I don't know what <laughs> we that wrote means. this yeah hmm yeah um, maybe that'll get canned. Maybe that'll be like if 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 the Edge and Balor match goes over by an hour, um, it'll probably have to be Bianca. Maybe it happens at the same shot. time, you know, war game style. Ooh, like while Edge okay. and, and Finn Balor are on the top of the cell, mm -hmm. Bianca and Oscar in the bottom. In the, well, the you can't ring. funkadactyls them. Okay, you got to get the match. <laughs> so <laughs> Edge and Finn are an hour <laughs> and a half into their match. You can't just them. <laughs> so they start the women's match. You mean? during the middle of the edge yeah. of one. Okay, okay. Why wouldn't they? I just wanted to make sure they weren't starting at the same time. That instead they oh. were happening, like, you know, makes one sense. after the other. Kind of, kind of, kind of. It makes all a lot of sense. I like when um the Bianca and Asuka match is planned to not finish either. Um, it's... That was uh, pretty cool. Well, yeah, both I matches liked... are still ongoing when the next three men arrive for their match. Um, Gunther, Sheamus, and Drew are here, Steven. Oh my goodness. They're out of rings. What do they do? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we gotta go back to the PC. Damn it. <laughs> so they fly That's back to the, the country, PC. Steven. That's the opposite coast. I don't Emergency know if you know. airplane. Oh my goodness. Oh Emergency my goodness. jet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, a Johnny Gargano would be Grayson Waller, dude. You know Triple H is back in power. Hell yeah. This one, this one you know. Shouts out to Champ. Do you think Champ is going to debut during this shit that we're about to watch? An they ever explain why he just disappeared from TV? I thought he was injured, right? But they ever explain why? Or oh, he just disappeared one mean, day. I feel like that's a valid explanation. I have no clue, though. Do people care no enough? Clue. I'm not too certain. Um, but basically, Steven, uh, Gunther, Sheamus, and Drew, before they start fighting each other, work together to completely beat down Finn Balor, Edge, Bianca, and Asuka. Um, where all four competitors are just laying in a heap um, so that their triple threat match can get started. It does start. Um, and who wins? The crowd. You're right. You're so right, Steven. The crowd does win because this match goes an additional hour and a half. Triple H comes out and he's like, yo, guys, breaking news, brother. <laughs> we don't have okay. time for Cody and Roman. <laughs> We're doing we don't have enough time in this three. card. Every match is starting right now. All right. 
What? Sheamus, Gunther, come back into the ring again. Bianca, you come back here too. As you too, Asuka. You too, Roman, Cody. We just have one giant match, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and then Roman <laughs> comes out. And it's like, We're having big dog. Another We're Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal right now. For the Universal title. And then Roman's like, fuck. No. Oos, what the fuck, Oos? I thought I was fighting Stardust. What the heck? And then Cody's it's like, final entrant. Here comes the money. Here we go. <laughs> He's calling people down to the ring one by one. They're all making their big entrances, right? Um, Triple H is like, wait, just one second, Roman. We got one opponent for you right now. Ching! Whoa. I come from money. I, I come, come from cash. A lady love fame. me. Bloody love me. And then, and then Cody's like, "That's my former tag team partner from Legacy, from A New Day. Not the tag team, The New Day, but the song A New Day. That's the song of Legacy. It's A New Day. And then, and then Teddy Bossy wins the Universal Title by Holy doing fuck." Uh, Cobra Clutch he is that his finisher? become severely overweight. It is physically impossible, even with 10 other people, to throw him over the top rope. <laughs> they all just gave up. They ran out of time. The arena is like, yo, guys, um, you're, you're out your rental time for this arena. You have to leave now, guys. Like, the city's going to sue you or something. You're so right. That damn it was city crazy. of Hollywood. The greatest WrestleMania ever. I love this ending. Yeah, me too. That was so cool how that ended. Mm -hmm. That was great. And keep in mind, guys, we're just reading the script. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you didn't like Plans what you could heard, change. <laughs> you know? This ain't final. All right? Maybe someone backstage thinks it's stupid. <laughs> They're wrong. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> They're fucking dumbasses. That's what they are. Maybe. Plans can change. Plans can change. Um, but shout out to Yo, Ted. Candice LeRae's in the crowd right now. This oh, NXT so it's Mark for... Long. That's the guy I took a photo with last year at WrestleMania in the hallway. Do you remember that, Steven? You should post that challenge? right now, right here on this side of the screen. No, I'm not going to do that. Because no one's even watching Stand and Deliver with us, okay? Oh, man. Yeah, it's a little sad. That was our Stand and Deliver episode, guys, for half of Stand and Deliver. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Exciting. <laughs> Shouts out. Uh-huh. Why is he doing the Austin Theory gimmick where he has the... Or the Tyler Breeze gimmick with the live... I think he's live streams on TikTok. It's just too bad that TikTok might get banned from the US, so his gimmick will probably die out. That's really unfortunate. But he can do, like, YouTube live streams, right? <laughs> yeah, all no? the 10 people do those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This guy just looks like the, the Grayson Waller, like, Chase U guy. Or is this Grayson Duke? Waller? Well, they're both Australian. Fuck, they look the same. Sorry. Steven. Anyways, that was this week's episode of Falling Lucha. Yeah. If you like this episode, don't comment. Guys, there's no way you liked this week's episode. This was This shit. week was awesome. This was If you want terrible. to have more live reactions to pay-per-views, comment, want... I want more reactions to pay-per-views during episodes that make no sense. If you want more live reactions to episodes and also spoilers to major pay-per-views, um, let Dave know. The more scoops we get from Dave, the more we'll report them. <laughs> Breaking so. news, guys. Jordan Gargano might be in a big push <gasps> after WrestleMania. No uh, way. No way. No way. That's it. There's, there's Bye. actually no way. Bye. Bye. Bye.